everybody and welcome back to Falcon Plays RimWorld Alpha 2. Let me go ahead and pause this. Alrighty. So, today, we're going to continue mining down over here to get our rooms going on down over here because my guys are going to start grumbling about sleeping on the floor soon enough. I set up a little lamp over here. I set up the stone cutter table right here. This will be the dumping area for the stockpile of the stone cutter. So he'll be able to do his thing. Over here, we're going to start setting up a little butcher shop. Now, again, bear with me. This is also my first time actually messing around with this stuff here. So let me put this in real time so they're still working and doing their thing. Uh, need a research project? Yeah, I don't need to worry about that just yet, though. Uh, so yeah, let this keep going in regular time. Butcher's table, bills, add a bill. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be the same thing as the, the stone cutter then. So let me see. Butcher configure and this will tell you what you kind of want to have your butchers kind of cook or not cook but you know essentially butcher that's what butchers do they, they you know i guess mutilate corpses and whatnot human corpses not just yet we haven't gotten to that point but everything else is going to be fair game and let's see let's make this search radius up to 999 just so we cover anything in our ground and let's see here we'll have them repeat this uh i guess for now we could do it 50 and see how that works out for us let me go ahead and close this now we're going to need a little bit of a dump area next to that in order for them to just kind of grab the food next to it and just put it in there and butcher it away. So for that, let me go ahead and add another zone. Stockpile zone, and we'll put this, I'd say right there, it's pretty good. Uh, I apologize, Batman, I know you're sleeping right next to the uh, butcher's table and uh, whatever mutilated corpse is going to have over there, but that's just the name of the game right now, man. So we're going to have this going to be nothing but corpses, but not human corpses. Or mechanoid corpses, which I'm not entirely sure what those are just yet. Or if it's even implemented. So, alright. So, with that, and we'll make this important for sure. And we do have a uh, dead squirrel over here for sure. So, maybe we'll go and... I don't think you can haul bodies just yet, right? Nah. Nah, you gotta haul debris. So, let's pick that up accordingly. So, um, with that said, there's also a boom right over here that we could probably have somebody fight. So, Batman, maybe you might want to wake up and... Uh, I don't know. Go melee attack this boom rat. It's gonna it's for the good of science, Batman, believe me. Now let me go and instead have you fire at him, and then once you're good and ready, I'll have you start melee fighting that thing. He's right in front of you, how are you gonna miss? He's right in front of you, how are you gonna miss, Batman? My god, finally. <laughs> and Mangina's gonna go over there and haul that for us, so good job on you, Mangina. Batman, come on. Don't, don't fail me, man. He's right in front of you, Batman. You're supposed to be our better shooter. What kind of example is this? I like how that boom rat decided to just kind of hang out there and wait for his demise to come. Oh, my lord, Batman. Are you kidding me? I don't want to melee him either because there's no point in it. I might as well... Yeah, there you go. So let me go ahead and make this legend we grab. The fire will put that out. And Batman, after that sorry display, go and... Don't go and eat! I should remove your food for like a week for doing that. Now, browning, as you can see over here... It's starting to set up some uh, stone blocks for us, and that's actually really cool. So, um, yeah, so the, essentially you put the the stone debris over here, and you put it over here. Now, that doesn't mean that you could use this. This is the slag debris, right? You can't use the slag debris. It's only stone debris. What I mean by that is um, these guys over here, these guys over here, right? Not the slag debris. Slag debris is completely useless. It's not going to be useless once we set up the blacksmith shop, which I haven't done yet. And then you could basically turn slag debris into metal, which is actually pretty cool. And you know what? There's absolutely no reason why I shouldn't be doing that right now. Um, how are we doing in terms of recruiting this man? Oh, I haven't tried to recruit him. No wonder. Okay, that makes perfect sense. So, Sumo, let me see what this guy's uh, effectiveness is here. Um, ugly environment. Space. He's got a spacious interior. So he can't complain about that. Eight nutrient paste. Hey, screw you, buddy. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> That's what everybody used to roll with back in the days. Now suddenly we have food, we suddenly have meat to feed you guys and berries, but no, this guy doesn't want nutrient paste. Must be nice. Okay, so, other than that, we also have to set up, oh, look at this. Oh man, we just butchered that boom rat, excellent, alrighty. Squirrel meat and boom rat, nice. So, here is the thing, this is, um, let's set up, uh, let's have them run meanwhile I do this here. So what I need to do right now is actually go and, hmm. Where is it? Furniture? Cooking stove. Alright, so now we need a cooking stove, obviously. And the cooking stove, where am I going to set this up then? That's the real question. It does need power as well. So, I guess for now we'll make... Uh, it's kind of like everywhere. I, I want to set up a kitchen room, and I will do that. But, again, right now we're early on, so I kind of have to kind of pick my spots in order to do stuff. So, we'll do that for sure. It's just got to take a little bit of time. And then the blacksmith workplace. I mean, we might as well use this to get some metal out of the uh, site to read us in the area. 
So, um, the blacksmith... Let's see... I guess we'll have him work over here as well. Okay. So we'll set that up for building. Anything else that we need right now? Tables? I guess tables would be nice for them to kind of eat momentarily. So they're not eating on the floor. Uh, I guess we'll build a little table right about here for now. And we'll put a chair there and there. Here and here. Alright. What do we have here? Raiders are landing nearby. Jump to location. Two Raiders! This time we have uh, ta Tail. I was about to call it Tali. This isn't Mass Effect. And we have Ben the Cook. How convenient, Ben. You would be really good right now because we could definitely use a cook. Alrighty, so that'll get built over here. Our stones are getting built, but we have no place to actually, you know, haul them to just yet. We need to set up a little bit of a warehouse room again as well. But again, this will get done soon enough. Uh, my power, as you can see, is starting to actually drop now, though. That's because of the stuff that we've been building, so... It's probably in my best interest to probably either add another solar panel, but obviously inside it's kind of scary, so I'm going to set up a solar panel section out here, and then I'll encase that away. I guess that'll probably be for the best right now. Um, let's see, so our battery situation, not really good whatsoever. And over here we have a table where Brownie's taking a little bit of a lunch break on, so that's good. Alrighty, and Batman's over here, I guess, either talking to Susumu or checking out his bed, which is pretty nice of him. Oh! Sasumo, you don't have to sleep on that one, bro. I, that's the reason why I made you uh, this other bed. Sasumo, you could sleep on this one. <laughs> that's the reason not to, man. And um, I guess in case we catch any of these guys that are coming up right now, we might as well set up another bed here and another one. I guess here would be pretty good. Okay. Oh, and look, they're actually putting the food over here to be cooked as well. So obviously, it's better to actually cook it, but, you know, there's no reason that why you can't also just roll with having a, you know, through the nutrient paste dispenser. It's obviously not going to give you the benefit altogether, but it's going to give you some benefit at least. So that's the upside here. Need defenses? Yeah, I get that. All right, so now what we also have to worry about is, um, our blacksmith work. So how does this work? Oh, this works exactly like the other guy. Excellent. Add bills. I right, smell jack slag debris. So I have this built for now. I don't necessarily need it just yet because we do have a pretty nice supply of metal. It's outside, but we'd have a nice supply of the way. So I'm not gonna really expend any resources on that just yet until we get more people involved. Brandon's gonna go ahead and haul that off. However, what we do need is a nice little stockpile area because I don't want everything just kind of hanging out out there, right? So I guess for now, there's no real reason why we can't add um, a stockpile area right over here for now. I guess not really big issue right now so let me just add a stockpile area here obviously we want to kind of dig into this and make like you no know, separate a kitchen over here somewhere and then a stockpile area but the thing is that if I do that now we're gonna lose the benefit of uh, getting this metal over here which is kind of important so I don't necessarily want to cave in in here because then I might just have to you know pretty much knock that down anyway so for now we'll keep that up although I guess I could also set up some walls in its place yeah I guess I could do that so it's probably, yeah, I'll just probably start setting up my my kitchen room over here and then my little stone area, like stone masonry over here. And then if this falls in, it's perfectly possible that it might. We could always just uh, set up a wall in its place instead. So let's see here. Let's say we come down over through here. We'll make this the entryway right about here. Let's make it a nice little wide entryway, like make it a two square type of thing. And, uh, go through there, and then we'll set this up like so. Alrighty, and this will be, I guess, uh, we'll make this... Oh, man, so close. Let's make, let's remove this down a bit, actually. I want to make, like, a nice little white area for the kitchen and the stone masonry, essentially. So let's do this, and then this right here. And then we'll set this up like so. That'll be four, and four... Alrighty, nice little masonry room right there. And then we'll have the opposite side. We'll set ourselves up another area for this. So we have one, two, and then the third one's gonna be the big charm, right? So this will be our kitchen over here. And that is how many squares? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got four, eight, and I believe this makes it nine. Excellent. <laughs> now, they haven't, they haven't finished uh, building their own rooms yet. I'm already over here talking about the stone masonry and the kitchen. But, you know, at least it's there, ready to go. Uh, in terms of our stockpile over here, I want this to be not resources. Uh, 
our food stuff is over here, but we're actually just putting them in the hopper, which is actually just as important anyway. So let's just do raw resources here. We'll make the stone blocks, not foods, and that'll work out pretty good. Now, for our cooked meals, by the way, that could also be its own stockpile area. Let's not forget about that. So for our cooked meals, we could probably even go and actually... Mm, let's go with zones and do another stockpile area. Again, it's really crowded in here. I know this is kind of like always the first setup. So the first part is always really crowded and messy. So we move down, we'll make it a lot nicer. Again, this is going to be our stone masonry, so that'll move over here. Our kitchen will move over here. So again, this is kind of like a little rough layout that we have going on for now. Uh, let's see, in terms of our food, I guess we could just put it down here for now. And this will be nothing but... Meals. Not raw, but meals themselves, so... Meals and everything is off already, and we'll make this important. How about the stockpile over here? This is a stockpile for what again? It's for... What the hell is the stockpile for? What did I make that for? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh yeah, it was for the stone blocks. Right. Stone blocks, and we'll make that preferred. And it is for the slag debris, or the rock debris. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're, we're, <laughs> we're making some progress now. Brian's going to haul that over here. Good. And where did the um, stone go? FYI. Oh, they put them over here. Don't put the stone blocks over there, man. We need them in here. I guess it was my fault for not curing that first and foremost. Launch pad. Yeah, I know. Launch pad. Launch pad McQuack. Uh, let's see. This is going to be for silver and metal, not stone blocks. You could put the stone blocks inside. Preferred. Okay. There you go. So Brownie's going to go here and work on this uh, stone cutting. Again, Brownie's going to be our kind of our go-to guy in terms of actually getting stone cut and whatnot because he's the uh, he has the ability to actually learn it at a bit of a faster pace than most people. So let me go ahead and I'll speed this up here. Need a research project? Not just yet, buddy. I know what I need and you don't tell me what I need. So we only have two people mining right now, which isn't that really great. Why isn't Batman doing any mining? Um, good question indeed. Plank cutting. Hey, Mangina. And then... We have one person crafting and then cooks. Alright, there you go. And raiders that finished their assault, they're going to come at us right now. Which is fine. We're asleep, but, you know, again, I'm not really too worried about two guys, quite honestly. I could just go outside and actually melee assault them, quite honestly. Ben has a Glock 19, and then this guy, not nah, Glock 19 as well. Female drifter, my bad. Not guy, but this uh, chick, this female. This voluptuous female here. Alright, so Batman, let me go ahead... And have you unmilitarize and go and work some sweet melee over here. And then Browning, let me have you do the same on Ben. Ben Affleck over here. And let's see how this works out for us. Uh, we should win this quite handedly, 31. Yeah, we should win this quite handedly. There's no reason why we shouldn't. Unfortunately, we... Oh, we knocked her out. Sweet! So we got another person in, uh, in here. Good. So Batman, if you may, go ahead and... Uh... Oh wait, we didn't knock her out. Why did I think that person dropped? <laughs> My bad. Tails over here fighting the wall instead of fighting Batman. Oh god, Tails gonna die. Brownie, how are you doing over here? Come on, Brownie, give me a no, no, Batman, don't do it. Don't, don't, don't be a hero. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, do I want to cannibalize this person? Uh, <laughs> not just yet. I don't want to be that that guy just yet. Brownie, come on, give me this knockout, Brownie. Give me this, Brown. Oh, Brownie, you're gonna kill Ben the cook. You gotta be our cook, man. Really, really bad call, Browning. We could have had this prison as our cook. Look what you did. Alrighty, so Glock 19. Does anybody need a weapon right now? I don't think we necessarily do. So you unmilitarized, you unmilitarized. I think everybody has a weapon, though, right? Mangina. Yeah, everybody does have a weapon. So, um, in terms of bodies, uh... What, the bodies hit the floor indeed? Where are we going to put the bodies? That is a real question. I guess we could make a little bit of a burning area over here. So, how about we... I guess we could easily go... Actually, no, no, it has to be caved in, right? So maybe somewhere in here for now? Yeah. Well, I don't want my guys seeing the bodies. Jesse the Body Ventura, as I should say. So how about, just for now, we'll remove... We'll add a zone for bodies. Um, dumping stockpile. Back over here, just so that's kind of away from our guys. And let's see, this will be... Not for slag or debris, just for corpses. And what I'm talking about human corpses. And we'll make this uh, important just to get it out of the way. Alright, there you go. 
Alrighty, and then our weapons, yeah, we could set up a little kind of a dump off spot for equipment and whatnot, or weapons, but I don't think it's really a big priority just yet. Alrighty, and those guys will speed up here. Susumu, how are you doing? Susumu starts, uh, loyalty is pretty high, happiness is going up. He's pretty cool with everything, he's just hungry, but he has food right there. He's in prison, well, the only thing he's going to be unhappy about, soon enough, is that he's in prison, but you know, that's pretty much the name of the game. If you don't want to be in prison, just join us and you're good to go, man. Quite as easy as that. Alrighty, and Brown is still bringing some rock over here for us, which is good. By the way, can somebody haul that rock over here once it's done and ready? <laughs> no reason not to, right? I mean, that's the reason why I set up the stockpile area. Stone blocks, preferred. And there's going to be a little bit of extra more food for us right there. Alright, there we go. Now we're building the, uh, I guess, the, the kitchen room that we needed. Now, I know that I'm I'm kind of mining into a big spot here, so there is a chance for cave-ins. So, I will set up like a little bit of a metal support or a wall support there just to kind of keep that from happening. I have detected cargo. It's landed kind of nearby, quite honestly, but... What is it? Metal and like weird... That's kind of like a really mixed bag of stuff, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I don't really necessarily need it just yet, so we'll skip that for now. Alrighty. All right, as you can see, our batteries are completely drained, though. So um, we have absolutely next to no power going for to kind of fuel our stuff here. So how about we set up a little bit of a solar generator area? Solar generator area. Area. area, area, area. <laughs> solar generator area. Uh, I guess we could just put it down through here, I guess. Yeah, that'll work out, I guess. So let's say... Uh, not against the wall, but let's say right there, and right there. There, and there. And what I'm hoping to do by doing this is actually just set up a metal wall. Down through here. I mean, normally, raiders leave your, um... They do tend to leave your... What am I trying to say here? They do tend to leave your, um, actual solar generators alone. But, um... I, I normally usually see them go after geysers. They're 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 magnets for geysers. Like they're kinda like flies or like, you know, I guess excuse my French, but they're kinda like flies to feces where they see like they see like a solar gener or not a solar generator, but they see like a, a steam geyser and they're like, oh, gotta be there. Gotta go there right now. Gotta go to that steam geyser. And that's the first thing. That's what happened in my last colony. They would just wouldn't leave that alone, man. It was quite annoying. So right now we're gonna set this up. This will probably roof the area in, right? Which makes the solar panels quite ineffective. But what, my understanding is that I could actually now set up a unroofed area over here because this is not part of the mountain. This is actually just like a man-made building. So hopefully that kind of does work out for us. And if it does, then we'll just drive a little power conduit over to here and kind of connect it to those things and have it gather more power and energy and whatnot. So right now we're keeping that open for sure. Boom Rat, you need to leave my solar panel area, man. I don't want you getting locked in here and then just getting freaking out and like blowing up in there for some, no reason at all. Uh, so Sumo, how are you doing over here, man? Now, Brownie is like, you know, traveling amidst the, the realms of the world just to pick up some of that stone for us, for him to cut. So, you know, good for you, Brownie. Alrighty, so the solar generator, the solar panels are up and running. Now, hopefully, we could set up, let's say, that wall right there. And let's see if this, if my, I guess my roof theory works, essentially. Here comes Uta Bolt to set up the metal for it right there. Uta Bolt just dropped that in the middle of everything and just went and started mining again. Good man, Uta Bolt. Alright, so now that is in case roofed in, right? So, let's t test this out. See as it works out for us. And, uh, where is it? Zone? Yeah, zone. So, create a no-roof region. Now, how far this has to go, I'm not entirely sure. Um... That's it? <laughs> I guess that's it. I mean, they're, they're powered up, so it's not like they're completely off. So, alright, that worked out. Good. So, that is generating power, right? It totally is! Alrighty, excellent. So now, what I can do, essentially, is deconstruct this over here. Or would that just kind of uh, ruin the roof area? I hope it doesn't. Yeah, let me just deconstruct this, and I'm gonna essentially run a, I guess, a... Uh, I should've just probably built the power conduit in there, because then the power conduit can just connect to the wall, and then the wall obviously connects to... everything else, right? Ah... Yeah... Yeah, let me just construct this. Uh, it's probably not necessary, but I'm still a little bit cautious about whether that would work or not. So, uh, mind you, if you're yelling at the screen, saying like, Falcon, that would work, just leave it alone, then I apologize, but... I just gotta be double safe, man. So, let's see, we could essentially now run ourselves a... I guess, a power conduit. I wanted to just have it run down straight over here. 
For that to happen, though, that we would have to mine this little block over here, though, and we'll set that up with a wall instead. So how about we do that really quickly? Batman, can you, as a matter of fact, uh, mine this rock out? Okay, good. And now we'll have a uh, metal wall in its place. All right, guys, forget about forget about the growing for now, man. Oh, so Mangina's starting to have a little bit of issues here. What is your issue, Mangina? Thoughts? Uh, ate raw food, observed corpse. Why are you eating raw food, man? Our, our food, our, our supply thing is really good to go right there. Ugly environments, sharing a bedroom, hungry. Okay, so now they're starting to basically drop a little bit of loyalty. There, uh, There's certain things that are kind of bothering them now, so... Um, again, we're, we're fixing on doing that. <laughs> we kind of abandoned our rooms, though. So that's not good. Alright, so now, let's see. Metal wall over here, and that'll connect everything together nice and good. And then what I'll do is probably set me up with a few more batteries right about here, I'd say. That's no good. What happened here? Traveler named her. Oh, it's passing by, and she's, uh... She is a involuntary hermit, so against her, I guess, volition, she's a hermit. Alrighty, uh, hermit person, you are not going anywhere. Batman, can you please uh, go and arrest this individual? Arrest Bacchus. Sounds like a musician. Oh, no, 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 Bacchus. Bacchus, don't do it. Batman, pump your legs, Batman. Batman, come on. Don't, don't let me down this way. Oof, that was close, man. That was really, really close. Good job, Batman. Mangina, Mangina, you need a man up, man. What is your problem? What is your prerogative, Mangina? Over here freaking out. Observe corpses. Oh, my bad. They're still... What the... What? Why are these corpses not being moved over here? Uh, human corpse? I mean, important. It's a priority. Alrighty. Let's see. Utabolt, can you haul this off really quickly? And Bacchus is now in here. Good. Let me go ahead and try to recruit. And friendly chat. Good to go. And then, Batman, you are unmilitarized now. But do me a favor and haul this off. Or <laughs> not this off. Uh, haul this once, you know, you know, alive individual that unfortunately fell into the traps of the raider plots to uh, a little area away from people so they could start freaking out. And a traveler named uh, Pariah. All right. Oh, and really, really close, actually. Or is it Pariah? No, it's Pira. Pira the broker. Another female. All right, good. Good. We're actually about to start multiplying over here. We catch my drift. So we have three beds, which is good. So Mangina, if... No, 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 no. Not him. Batman's actually eating, so... Browning, wake your ass up and go and capture... Wait, 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 wait. This person is already part of our crew. Nice. Okay. Pira the Broker. All right. Excellent. Welcome aboard, Pira. We gotta... I gotta rename people after this episode, so... Um, if you guys have already left your uh, names in the old video, I'm gonna take a look at that right now after the recording and then just edit you guys in. Uh, Browning the Commissar. Let's see. Browning, uh, female. Alright, so. Unfortunately, this person can't do any firefighting as well, which is, it seems to be a, <laughs> a train of events going on over here. Right? The Bolt and Pyra. Uh, cooking, constructing, growing. Oh man, not really a good individual, honestly. But it's a really, it's, it, this person's actually a really good researcher, so. We could get back into our researching, which is not a bad idea, quite honestly. So, let's for now avoid everything else for this person, and we'll have them just do a little bit of warning as well. They have some pretty good social skills as well. As a matter of fact, even better than Batman, so that'll probably help us uh, recruit people a bit more faster. So, um, for now, we'll have that happen right there. And doctoring, might as well. Research, okay. And now let's set up a research thing here, and let's go, I guess we can now probably go with the... Uh, bah, 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 bah. let's go with advanced target. Yeah, let's go with advanced targeting. See what this, uh, I I'm really interested to see what these energy turrets are all about. So you detect an escape crashing, escape pod crashing hard nearby. If anyone survived the impact, they'll be badly wounded. Oh, nice. All right. Another person. Nice. And because, um, Pyra was actually not a, uh, uh, basically, oh, Pyro, why are you militarized? Because Pyro was not an actual, uh, person who had to capture, we now have an extra bet. So go and capture, oh, and he's a chef! Yes, all right! I have news for you, Py uh, Kanim. You, my friend, are getting, like, a world-class, like, you know, chef kitchen going on building out over here, so... Man, believe me, you want to join us soon as possible and get us some actual good meals going on here. So you're good to go, Batman's good to go, all righty, and these three people are in there. They're probably now complaining about cramped environment, though, right? Spacious interior. 
but they're sharing a bedroom. Alrighty. Well, you know what, guys? That's how it happens. So, Kanim, let's go ahead and try to recruit this person. Do a little friendly chat right there. And let's see. Susuma the pirate and back. Sorry, so all these people are pretty much set up for friendly chats to get recruited. Uh, the batteries have been built. Uh, they're not getting power, though, because I am an imbecile and I forgot to set up the power conduit to actually connect to them. So let me set up power conduit through there. And there, and that'll work out for that. That'll have everything connected. And now... Stone blocks. We have a good amount of stone blocks, quite honestly. I could probably even start thinking about setting up this outside perimeter as stone blocks just to avoid um, raiders setting this on fire. But I guess we'll do that soon enough. Soon enough. Um, they're not, you know, hauling the stuff away, though, which is really quite interesting to me. All right. Either way, how about this, guys? Oh, we need to call in this bed as well. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, Pyra, but we don't have any actual beds. We're sleeping on the floor still, man. I mean, it's coming soon enough, but you gotta have to hold up here. Alrighty. So how about this, guys? Let's go ahead and call it an episode here today. And then we'll pick up from here next time, and hopefully we'll have the kitchen and the craftsman area built. So that we can continue starting and go back down over here and get our rooms going. Because uh, my guy's trying to really get angry about sleeping over here. And I don't blame him. They have all the right to be angry about that. And then we could also actually put, like, I guess, stone rocks over here just to kind of make uh, their life a little bit easier indeed. But either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, I encourage you to click that thumbs up button. Support really does mean a lot. And as you can see, we have a really good setup going on over here right now. And I'm also, you should probably also see uh, some of the prisoners renamed next episode as well to whoever has left their name in the bag first. And again, I'm going to be going from, you know, first come, first serve. So keep that in mind. But either way, guys, I'll catch you next time.